All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand, this is not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Fighting out of Manaus, Arizona, Brazil, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come off the line. Situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice move in the half guard, shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that. Unbelievable, I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, pass. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Back to the feet now. Three minutes remain in the right. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. What a punch. Oh, 
Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there, and he landed the right hand there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Big kick land. Spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, nice knee. What an end to round one. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Nice watch from right on the elbow. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Checks the light kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Just misses with that one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. 
moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He got him. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. Awesome. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to...